Hello! It's been about 12 hours since uh, I recorded the last episode, and this is the progress of the quarry so far. Looking not too bad. We've done, I would say, is that about eight layers? So we are essentially about a tenth or maybe an eighth of the way down to bedrock. So if that's 12 hours work, then I guess it's going to take four days to get to bedrock, but that's okay we can wait. Uh, it has been producing stuff actually, I'll just come back over again um, before we fly away. Uh, it has been producing things, we've got a bit of iron ore, we've got some copper, we also had a stack and a half of tin which I have removed from here because I needed it. There's some more iron and copper in there, loads of coal as well, uh, we're getting a bit of the miscellaneous stuff, we've got some clay, clay can be useful, uh, loads of gravel, not sure whether I'm going to need gravel, but anyway, yeah, it's coming along all right. Nothing in the valuables chest, of course, because we haven't got that deep underground yet. And the recycling is doing all right as well. We have several stacks of scrap boxes to play with, so we might have some fun with those. Um, however, one thing I've realized is, you may remember, I, I won't go back and show you now, but I did put in a... Uh, electron tube or something like that. Uh, what was it called? I think it was called an electron tube that was supposed to boost the power of the engine but I did it completely wrong and I figured out that I have the wrong idea altogether so this is where I put it and I don't know what's meant to go there but that does nothing. What you actually have to do is you have to craft a circuit board that goes in this socket over here and in order to craft a circuit board we have to use a carpenter. So I am just currently messing about with this carpenter here. How do you even put things in the crafting grid? Maybe Carpenter is a complicated thing. I know we have to put water in and then we have to give it a recipe but how do we do that? Uh, it's six tin and one redstone. No recipe. Oh, left click. Okay, of course. Oh, uh, okay, so I am just specifying a recipe. It's not using up the items right now. So I've designed a recipe here for um, something that apparently doesn't match. I thought that was the right recipe for an electron, for a small circuit board. Let's, uh, let's look at it again. Oh, redstone around the outside and tin in the middle. So I don't know how to undo that now, but redstone around the outside, tin in the middle. So that's the recipe. Wow! That sounded actually slightly near. Um, <laughs> slightly worrying. Uh, okay, so that is how we make a small circuit board. This thing is already powered. It has... well, if I give it that, it'll have enough ingredients. Oh, it's going! Excellent. Yay! One small circuit board. I don't want it to make any more, so I'm not sure how to stop it, but anyway. Missing resources. Okay, so that's a slightly weird but cool device. Now, how do I now make this small circuit board do something? I think I have to put this thing into carpenter itself. No, maybe I have to put it into the thermionic fabricator. Maybe I have to read the wiki some more. Hang on a minute. Okay, yeah, figured it out. We need another tool which is a soldering iron which I think is and I probably got this wrong now but I believe it's one of those. So we have to use the carpenter again to make our soldering iron. Um, again, I think it needs to be supplied with water. And then all being well does something else have to go in to make this? Doesn't look like it's doing it yet. Maybe it needs more water. Let's have a look at what the soldering iron needs. No, it just needs water. One unit. And then all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to put the resources in. Man, this is complicated stuff. There we go. It will now create myself a soldering iron and then I can put my electron tubes onto my circuit board. That's a crucial step that I missed. So let's have a go at this. 
This isn't even what I planned to do today. It's just a bit of a diversion. Okay, so... Hello. <laughs> Soldering iron. Great. Circuit board. Excellent. And then I can now add electron tubes. So I have in here some more of these different types. In fact, I think I had some bronze electron tubes. Yeah, I've got a stack of those. That's the type that I want to use. So let's put the cir circuit board in here. And I think a small circuit board only allows me to put one type. Yep, that's it crafted. So now I have a circuit board which will actually do what I thought I was already doing, which is to increase the output of my electrical engine by 4 mj per tick, which is going to triple the speed of my quarry, I believe, because I think the default electrical engine speed is only 2 mj. Let's have a look. You can actually check it, I believe, by looking on here. Well, you can't see when it's not in use, but... Uh, Let's go over to the quarry and try it with this circuit board and see if it makes any difference as long as I don't get struck by lightning on the way. Okay, this is the engine that powers my quarry and it still says it's outputting 0mj. So I don't know what this means. It doesn't seem to be working. But let's try chucking one of those in anyway and see if it makes any difference to the speed. Of course, if it does, I don't really know how I'm going to know anyway. I guess I'll come back in a few hours. But what is going to happen here is it's going to make this recycling just not even remotely close to efficient enough. So I'm going to be losing a lot more items when the speed picks up, which I guess is going to happen very soon. Um, yeah, I think it's probably made a difference. There's no way of knowing because this seems to be bugged. Although this seems to be moving a lot faster. It's just Oh, I can't take it out again now. It's trapped. Okay. Uh, never mind. I think that's made a difference, so let's just hope it has. However, for today's project, that was not the plan. I keep running out of certain resources. The two things I'm having a lot of trouble with at the moment are wood and rubber. And I'm going through them at quite a rate. So... It has been decided by me that we need to come up with a more sustainable way of producing wood. So I've been looking into forestry and we're going to check out the automatic tree farming that uh, Feed the Beast gives us. So let's head over to the new world and try it out over there. Just lighting up the area, clearing it out a bit. This uh, nano saber is an amazing thing. It really is pretty cool. One hit, the creepers. Two hits on a... Uh... Ah, let them fight it out. Two hits on an enderman. And uh, absolutely just bam. Really, really powerful weapon. It does run out pretty quickly if you leave it on like I have it at the moment. Ooh, there you go. And the other problem I have at the minute is I am sporting some pretty weak armour. To be honest, I've got my uh, fancy solar helmet. This thing's not... Oh, yeah, because I haven't got the lap pack on. Um, I've got my fancy solar helmet. I've got my jet pack, which I don't think it gives you any armour, really, uh, and some bronze pants. And the boots I had were just leather ones that I found lying around at some stage, and they've run out anyway. Can't actually break blocks with this thing, which is a bit weird. So I'm just going to set up my first... Arboretum in this area here. Just leveling it off and uh, trick away that zombie flesh. So I can put down some dirt blocks. Um, this is where I'm going to do my tree farming experiments. We are over in the new world in view of the mountains and just near where the entrance to my base is going to be. In fact, maybe I should actually do it up here on this little natural platform. But no, there's more space down there. I want to have multiple farms maybe interacting with each other in various different ways. So here does seem like a pretty sensible place to put it. So uh, let's just set things up. I'm going to put down a chest somewhere. Over here maybe. Dump off some of this stuff. Kill the zombie. And uh, ooh, 15 levels. Getting close to my next death. Um, yeah, we'll get things set up. 
just starting off by crafting up the Arboretum. An Arboretum requires a sturdy casing. In fact, the logger that we're going to craft in a minute does as well, so I'll make a couple of those. And then we put that in the middle. We have our golden electron tubes over the top. Uh, I believe glass goes around like that. And oh, I have forgotten. I've forgotten how we finish this one off. Uh, let's look it up. I was doing so well as well. Arboretum. Oh yeah, of course, the funky chip goes down at the bottom. I hate that when you type the letter R, it reorganizes your chest and you have to start again with your crafting recipe. That is highly annoying. Too many items, not enough items, whatever you're called. Don't do it. Uh, where were we? Golden electron tubes. Okay, so that is our arboretum. And we're also going to want to craft a logger. I don't know why I can't help myself saying arboretum. A logger is a bit expensive because it needs these diamantine electron tubes, which cost you five diamonds to make four of them. So that is slightly annoying, but so be it. Sturdy casing goes in the middle. Diamantine or diamantine electron tubes go around the outside. We need another of those funky chips. And then, I don't know why they're funky, but they just are. They are funky. And then the logger. So these are the two key parts of our uh, tree farming system. We need the arboretum, we need the logger. We're also going to need some hummus, which I think we can automate the production of, but we will just do it manually to begin with. And I am going to say that this is about the neat centre of the area. So the arboretum will sit here, and the logger is just going to go right next to it here. Um, now the arboretum needs feeding with hummus, saplings, and it will output sand because that's what the hummus turns to when it uh, grows trees. The logger hasn't got any kind of interface but we can pipe out of that the wood. So I'll get it all set up and then I'll talk you through how it works. I'm going to run the whole thing off two of these advanced solar panels. I've been crafting quite a few of these lately and they are really expensive but thanks to all that mining I do have pretty much enough ingredients to make a few of them now so I've got one or two to spare so a couple of these solar panels uh, on the top and then I have the um, MFE down here which is charging up quite nicely from it actually uh, and then I'm just going to bring the cable round and underneath these two items like this now that is now powered I don't know whether it will actually immediately start functioning or let's take a look at it. It may need to be supplied with its stuff before it actually starts doing anything. Um, let's just cover the wires up, keep it nice and tidy. Um, this will act on a certain area around it and then it will clear it out and start building itself um, what it needs. I'm actually not sure whether it's a good idea to have the logger here yet because it may actually drop that when it starts clearing its area. So I'm going to take the logger out for now. Um, it's also getting dark and I've not lit up around here too well so I'm just going to do that job. Try and at least keep the annoyance of the mobs to a minimum. Unfortunately I made a mistake which is I was charging up my the MFE from a lap pack um, in order to be able to have a easy place to recharge my stuff and then I broke the MFE to move it to use it there and completely forgot that it was fully charged and the lap pack was completely empty and if you break your MFE all the power that is stored in it is wasted um, whereas what you can of course do is transfer it back across to the lap pack but I didn't think of that so sadly I am gonna have to go home for a recharge fairly soon or I may get enough from from these things actually there might be a fair amount of power in the MFE down there. Eh, not really. <laughs> it's not going to go far. OK, I'm going to carry on setting up this arboretum. I'm going to have to go and f get myself some hummus first of all, actually. So probably time for a trip home anyway, since it's getting dark, and we will sort out the hummus. Seems like there's a couple of different ways to get to hummus. We can either go from compost and dirt or fertiliser and dirt. Um, fertilizer we can make a fair bit of right away because we've got this appetite in reasonable quantities so 
and sand is not a problem either. If we don't have enough, we can always macerate some cobblestone to get it. So that's an easy way of getting started on the hummus. But as far as making something that is a more durable process, uh, saltpeter, that's not really practical. Um, we can get fertilizer from ash and sand, and ash we can get by smelting peat. And peat is something that you can definitely produce using the forestry mod, you can make yourself a peat bog. So that would be one um, sort of renewable way of getting hold of fertilizer. The other way, which might be slightly easier, is to go the compost route. And you can get compost uh, simply from wheat and dirt, or again from ash and dirt, but slightly different quantities, actually. That, I don't know. I think that might work out the same, because it's four ash gives you two fertilizer, whereas this is... Sorry, eight ash, that's four ash, gives you one compost, so it's pretty much the same, and the output is the same. Just a slightly different amount of dirt that you need. Oh, wait, no, that's dirt, whereas this is sand. And sand is arguably somewhat easier to come by with all this mining I'm doing, um, giving me cobblestone. I don't know, we'll think about that. Uh, but I think I'm going to go the wheat route, so I'm going to probably make a wheat farm, because this is a better rate of return anyway. That's four compost, so basically one for each wheat. Um, and uh, we've got enough of it for now. We'll need to find. This. I don't guess there's there's probably no renewable way of producing dirt. Uh, you can get it from plant balls, and you get plant balls from um, macerating. Well, you can get plant balls from wheat. So actually, the whole lot can start with wheat. So I might be able to make a system that puts all this together. But for now, anyway, I'm going to go with the appetite, which I have plenty of in one of these chests. A couple of stacks of the stuff that I've not been knowing what to do with for ages. So we'll just craft that together with a couple of stacks of sand and that will give us eight stacks of fertilizer, which I'm pretty sure ought to be enough for anyone forever. So I'll get all this and then we'll craft our hummus. Uh, now, let's remember the recipe for hummus. I think it was one of those surrounded by dirt. So let's grab some dirt and just spread it around. So this is going to give us eight recipes, and each of those is eight, so that'll give us one stack of hummus. This fertilizer is going to last us a long time then. Um, I don't know exactly how much hummus we need. I'll make a few stacks, and then we'll go and see how it how it works out. Flying in a thunderstorm doesn't seem like the greatest idea, but there's a lot of thundery weather on this server. Um, so I've realised I'm being a bit of a derp here. First of all, this is stupid. You don't connect power directly to one of these. We need to go through an electrical engine, so I think I've got everything I need here to get myself an electrical engine. Hello, creepers. Where is my nano saber anyway? Once again, I managed to rearrange my inventory. Uh, so I'll get myself an electrical engine and connect this up properly, and then we'll load it with hummus. Okay, stuff might be happening. So I've managed to get an electrical engine connected up to my MFE, and then I've successfully got a wooden conductive pipe coming out of it, because it seems like that's the only type of pipe that can draw energy out of an electrical engine. I'm going to have to look into pipes a bit more because I still don't really understand them. And then I've got a golden pipe going off the side to bring us to the logger, which we are going to add later. I'm going to put the hummus in here now and the saplings as well. And I don't know, I feel like I've done everything that needs doing to power this thing. It should be receiving power, should it not? Uh, and yet nothing is really happening. What am I doing wrong? Answers on a postcard. Okay, let's try this again. Arboretum goes here. Logger goes here. The Arboretum should be removing blocks around it. I think it's already done it because I placed it before when I was messing about and it sliced the side off that tree. So, if I now give it the hummus and the saplings, let's see if it will uh, get to work and actually... Oh, it's cutting that tree down now. Interesting. 
I think I put it one block closer to the tree this time, so that's probably why it's going again. I'm still slightly worried it's going to destroy the logger, but hopefully that won't happen. It doesn't appear to have dropped any items. So you have your hummus. What are you going to do about it? Let's just give it time and wait and see what happens from a safe distance. Something is happening. Hummus is appearing magically in a little row around here. It's quite slow moving then. It doesn't just sort of zoom round. Um, once this is done it should plant itself some saplings and then it'll just be a matter of waiting for them to grow and we can upgrade it later and we can have one of the ones that um, automatically bone meals the crops using. I think you have to put some some sort of liquid in it, I can't remember the name of it, but you can basically make it so that it will instantly bone meal and you get a much faster output of wood, but that's a bit expensive to craft and this will be absolutely fine for now, so let's just leave it to run and see what happens for a bit. It's going dark and it's not especially safe around here, so I'm going to retire to a safe distance. Ah, the saplings are being planted as well. Beautiful. Uh, and then we have to work out how to plumb in the logger, so I am going to return when this is done and we'll see how to do the next stage. Okay, this seems to be going alright. The saplings are coming out of this pipe on the top of the logger and going into the arboretum, keeping it topped up. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, arboretum is replacing saplings when trees get removed. Should be one appearing there, I think. Maybe it waits for the... Oh, there it goes. So that's working. Um, and that should be self-sustaining because it should get more saplings back than it uses. And then whenever a tree grows, the logger is uh, basically removing the wood and placing it in this chest which I've put directly next to it. So there's five in there. Soon that should start cutting that tree down and replenishing it. There it goes. The other thing you see is that when it removes the wood, the hummus belief has turned to sand. And so the a constant supply of hummus is going to be needed in order for it to carry on working. So we have a working tree farm and this is going to be great to just initially replenish our uh, stocks of wood but we need to make it a bit more um, fully automated. We need to get some way of generating the hummus and feeding it in which means I think we're going to have to start looking into wheat farming and perhaps set up a wheat farm next door over here and pipe things in. So that's the job for next time. I think we will take a look at wheat farms in the next episode. But for today, I'm going to end it there. Moderate success with the tree farming. I think I'll AFK here for a while and gather up some wood. Uh, next time we'll check on how the quarry is doing as well. In the meantime, I'm going to be probably taking a break from videos for a few days um, as we are coming pretty close to Christmas. So have a good Christmas break if you are doing anything good enjoy it and i will speak to you sometime in the new year 